Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a split screen for your first person shooter game. This tutorial is sponsored by John John Games. So if you guys are looking for a channel with plenty of content, gaming and creativity, John's channel is the place to go. You should probably check out some of his socials too and stay up to date with all his latest content, loads of stuff to see. You can find all kinds of games on there, some Grand Theft Auto stuff, even a couple of tutorials that even I haven't covered. If you fancy being sponsored in one of these tutorials, just like John John Games, all you need to do is click that join button below and become a sponsor. Now, on with the tutorial. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload to my channel on video game development, because there's always loads to see, loads to learn and loads to do. With that in mind, let's get to work. So the premise of creating a split screen in its simplest terms is actually very easy and it's not so convoluted, but it's a little bit intriguing how it's actually achieved. Now I have this scene here that I've got from the asset store. It's a battlefield style scene. It's pretty decent. I've also got two uh, first person players in here to simulate two separate players. Now obviously when I move both of these players will indeed move because they're both tied to the same keys. But obviously if you're creating a split screen uh, you would just assign them different keys, uh, different controller sort of thing. So we're just focusing on how to create that split screen effect here and it's as I say very very simple. In order to do it we're going to need to create a canvas and we're also going to need to create a couple of render textures. So first and foremost, let's create the canvas. So game object, UI, and let's go raw image. So this raw image will be uh, basically the background for the entire canvas, and we want it to be completely stretched out. So let's stretch on the anchoring and zero everything else out. So this creates a background for us to base our canvas on. Speaking of canvas, we need to select it up here. We also need to change the scale mode to scale with screen size and select your standard resolution. Obviously, whatever resolution you're aiming for is what you want to go with here. So now we have that sorted, we can effectively set um, two extra images which are going to be the render textures. But so let's create those render textures first. So let's right click create and down here we'll see render texture. Let's call this player one and over here we need to set the size as roughly what you'd expect to see. So because we're doing this on 1080 this is going to be 960 I think by 1080. So the size is going to be the same because we're doing this on a vertical split. If you're doing a horizontal split, then you just kind of reverse it around. So your size on the horizontal would be 1920 and the size on um, the vertical would be half. So that looks okay. So that should effectively set up the left side of the screen. And this one is going to do the right. So all I've done there is just hold control, press D, duplicate. Now we have two render textures. So on player one, we need to set in the first person character where we have over here where it says target texture drag it into there so it then says player one so whatever this camera sees is now rendering onto this texture do the same with your second player over here where it says target texture we need to set it as player two so now both of these textures are being seen through whatever this camera sees so whatever this camera sees is going to to uh, go straight onto these textures. Now, for convenience, we are going to set uh, another camera, so game object and camera. The reason we do this is simply because we would end up having the message no cameras rendering on the screen, even though they technically are, they aren't rendering to the screen. We always need to have something rendering to the screen for this to work. Either way, we now have those textures on our players. So the next thing to do would be to go to game object, go to UI and let's go to raw image again. And let's set this over to the left and we want it stretched on the left hand side. Let's zero out the position. And actually while I'm at it, I'm gonna set the original raw image to a nice black color so we can see things a little better. 
and I'm going to turn my screen around. So we need uh, that raw image to be width 960. I'm just going to turn the post processing off because it's getting in the way. And the height will be 1080. If I can actually set it right, there we go, bottom. So there we go, we've stretched that there. So width, zero, zero, and yes. So basically, because we're stretching this up and down, we don't need to worry about the bottom section. So now let's move this into position on the left side of the screen. And then let's duplicate that raw image after we've renamed it. So player one, hold control, press D to duplicate. Let's rename this as player two. And let's set the anchoring to the right hand side and then bring that image over here. And now all we need to do is drag and drop those render textures onto the texture over here. So player one, which is this raw image here, drag and drop. And player two, drag and drop over there as well. And already you can see that the image is indeed different. Now let's get a vertical divide in there. And all that is, again, is just a quick and simple raw image. We want it to be stretched dead center. Position is going to be zero. Top is going to be zero. Bottom is also going to be zero. Width, let's have that about five. And we should be able to see a split. So now if we press play, Remember that when I move, both controllers are indeed going to move because they're assigned to the same key. Just to show simulation, you can see a floating gun there. But we can see that is exactly how we do this. We now have split screen multiplayer. And if you look on the right hand side screen, we can see a gun moving there. That is actually player. So if you were to have character models rendered, you would indeed see them on each other's screen. But that's all there is to it. That is how quick and simple it is to create a split screen for multiplayer in Unity. And I always say that there are multiple ways to do things in Unity, some better than others. As long as you can get the basics of things down, this, I mean, this is performing quite well. There's, there's nothing too intense or strenuous about this. But there we go. That is indeed how we create it. So guys, uh, if you want to see any more, I have tons and tons of tutorials on my channel. Um, probably got what you're looking for at some point. So whatever you want to design, I have it. Uh, and I hope to see you in another tutorial. Guys, thank you very much for watching.